Welcome and good morning to Mike Ferry TV. It is the week of July 17th. Boy, the summer is going by fast. Okay. About two weeks ago, I had a fun discussion with a group of about seven or eight potential clients and existing clients at one of my tour stops. And the question we had was about our sales talk workshop, one of the events that we do. And one of the people asked an interesting question. They said, okay, what is that program all about? I said, well, it's sales talk. We talk for four days about how do we help you become a better salesperson, communication, conversation, talking to people. And then the guy said, well, I understand part of it is on both motivation and mindset. I said, well, actually, if you look at the outline for four days, we have five or six sentences of the four days on motivation and mindset. And then he said, well, wait a minute. I thought motivation and mindset is very important to our careers. And I said, it is vitally important to your career to have a strong desire to achieve, to do something. And obviously, we want to maintain as strong and positive a mindset as possible. Well, then he continued to want to pin me down. And I finally said, you know what? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take the workbook and I'm going to take the first couple of pages and I'm going to scan them and send them to you. And I want you to read those first six or seven points. Well, he did. And then he wrote back and said, wow, the first six or seven points would be worth the entire four days. So I thought what would be fun today, because, you know, as you go into what is called the dog days of summer, which is the second half of July and August, where a lot of people are on holiday, a lot of people are on vacation, whether it be our customers and clients yourselves, our prospects that are watching, and or your clients, we know that it is not uncommon for this last half of July and August to kind of taper off. Because, you know, there is holidays, it's warm, it's nice, you know, we're on vacations, etc. So I thought it'd be a good time to maybe remind us about these words, mindset and motivation. So I want to share with you a couple of these thoughts we use in that particular event to get people started, to get people engaged, and to get you to participate in that wonderful career you have called listing and selling real estate. So in the first point on the sales talk workshop, I say the following. The biggest challenge people face in life. Now, did you hear what I said? The biggest challenge people face in life is determining their motivation, whether it be personal, internal, or business, what you're trying to accomplish. There's been thousands of books written, tens of millions of words published on this topic. So let's try to simplify this idea of motivation to start. So then I go to point number two. Motivation is, and I want you to listen, simply a motive to some type of action. Look at the word motivation. Motive to action. Okay, what is the motive you have? How many deals do you want to do between today and the end of this year? That would be the motive, okay? What are you willing to do to make it happen? That is the action. So motive to action, motivation. In its simplest form, the motive is the goal, the objective you have for yourself, which determines the actions you'll take. Biggest challenge I see, and I've only been doing this 42 years, is trying to get you to identify what the goal is. I want to take X number of listings, two a month for the next six months, that's 12. I want to have five buyer-controlled sales and seven of my listings sell. All right, so I'm going to have 12 money transactions. That is the goal. The hardest part of the business is then getting you to take the proper actions to make it happen. So therefore, I go to point number three, and it says, therefore, if there is no motive, no goal, there's generally no action, which creates low productivity, a lack of income, and high turnover in real estate. You see that in your office. People coming in day after day after day after week after week after week and never doing anything. You know, we estimate that today, here we are in July, up to 50% of all the agents in North America have not done a deal yet. They haven't done a listing taken, a listing sold, haven't got a paycheck yet. All right, a lack of motive, therefore a lack of action. So then I go to point number four, to assist you in determining your personal motivation, we have to look at the word success. And it is an overused, it's like the word motivation. It's overused, it's beat up, it's pounded into the ground, the word success. But then I refer to Earl Nightingale, my mentor, who said success is the progressive realization of a worthwhile goal or objective. So success is the realization of that. It's the working towards the goal you have. Do you have a goal for the second half of the year? For listings taken, listings sold, buyer-controlled sales, and income. 
Do you have a goal? Yes, you do, okay? What is that goal? So real success is not necessarily just achieving it, which we want you to do. It's progressively working towards it or taking action on a regular basis. So then I wrote next, or in essence, no goal, no objective, no motivation, therefore no success. Is that why you are in real estate? And the answer is always no. Mike, I want to accomplish something. I want to do something. I want to I want to earn X number of dollars. And I go, okay, great. To help you identify your motivation, we have to look at, honestly, why are you involved in real estate? And for many, many, many years, and a lot of you have witnessed this, we play a little game called the money game. And I've done it with you over the years on Mike Ferry TV. The money game, okay? Um, I have a certain standard of living I live by. And all of us have a standard of living. Sometimes it's very, very shallow. Sometimes it's very difficult to attain and to live on the income we have, so we have a low standard of living. Some of us have a very moderate standard of living. Some have a very high standard of living. So what I want people to do is I want you to identify what does it cost you per month to live, you and your family unit? $3,000 a month, $8,000 a month, $10,000 a month. I did a seminar a couple days ago, and I pointed to a person in the audience, and I said, what does it cost you a month to live? He was a single man, 35. He said $6,000 a month. I said, good for you. Your average commission check is how much? He said $6,000. So I said, in essence, you have to do one deal a month to live a comfortable life. He was well-dressed, nice-looking young fellow. He said, yeah, that's about it. Well, all right, so he's not motivated to take action to get above his standard of living. But sitting next to him was a young lady, and I said, what does it cost you a month to live you and your family unit? She said, $24,000. But her husband earns half of that, so she has to do two deals a month. So I want you to listen carefully. If you can't identify why you're going through the process of learning how to sell, it's hard to identify what you're going to accomplish. Well, we know that the majority of people that come into our business don't have any sales experience. And if they do, it's retail. Selling real estate is not retail. It's direct sale. Retail, they come to me. Direct sale, I have to go find them. Am I willing to go look? Am I willing to go find? Am I willing to go search out and find people that want to buy and sell? Those are the actions I take. Now, if I don't have a motive, a goal, an objective, it's hard to get us to take the actions. So it's hard to identify what you're going to accomplish and what you have to learn if you don't have a particular goal, can you take a minute and identify specifically why you chose real estate as a career? And I used to, in my seminars for years, ask every day, okay, why did you pick real estate? And the answers were sometimes incredibly strange, many times very funny. Well, I'm in real estate because my kids have grown up and I really have nothing to do. I'm in real estate because I have a friend that sold a couple houses and made $10,000 per house, and I thought if I could make an extra $20,000, what the heck? I'm in real estate because I couldn't find a real job. I'm in real estate because I was laid off from the job I had and I couldn't replace it. Well, I don't often hear I'm in real estate because I want to build a productive, profitable sales career for myself that I can do long term and enjoy the benefits of it. Why are you in real estate? So then I said it goes a step further. If there's a reason you've identified that is strong enough to get you to do the things you have to do at times, which are very difficult and very uncomfortable to do, you will then succeed in this business. Watch, if you can identify why you chose this crazy, wonderful, almost at times bizarre, productive, profitable career called real estate, if you can identify why you're doing it, why are you doing it, and you can identify the goal you want to accomplish, then we can teach you the skills to take the actions required to make it happen. But you see, it's a little bit more complicated than saying, I got my license, here I go. You know, I've got a desk, I've got a chair, I've got an iPhone, I've got an iPad, I guess I'll succeed. Because we have to go through the steps in the process. And then I said last, if your motivation is not strong enough, you'll have a hard time succeeding in this business, which is the biggest challenge we face. The turnover in our industry is probably the highest it's been in 30 or 40 years. And the turnover, listen carefully, they're not leaving because of excessive income. They're leaving because they can't figure out what to do. So I tell people, if you know what to do and you know what to say, 
you'll do what you're supposed to do. But if you don't know what to do and you don't know what to say, you're not likely going to accomplish anything of consequence. So I made a statement at a convention probably 10, 12 years ago, and some of the people applauded and some people actually booed me. Now that does happen. I'll have an audience and half are applauding, half are booing simultaneously. And here's what I said to the audience. It's a crazy business we're involved in because just enough business comes to the average real estate agent without knowing anything and not doing anything. Just enough comes to them to keep them in the business, but it's not enough business to make you want to go find a job doing something where you could do substantially better. Or in essence, we are in the perfect business for those people that love being complacent. Because you can make just enough money to stay, but you don't make enough money to make it worthwhile. And it's because we don't know what to say, don't know what to do, therefore we can't execute, and we're lacking the desire to learn, so therefore we cannot perform. Well, when I said that at this seminar, I'm telling you about half the people went, boy, right on, Mike, that's really, half the people went, I don't like it, it's terrible, why would you say such a thing? Because we know in any phase of life, if you don't know what to say and don't know what to do, it's hard to take action. So in the second half of this year, I want you to look at what do you need to know? What do you need to learn? What do you need to do in terms of a script to use so you can perform at a higher level? And if you learn those, you're going to perform in almost every case at a much higher level. Our job is to assist you in performing. That's what the job is. Whether it be working your past clients better, or converting leads you're buying off the internet better, or learning how to make a listing presentation better, negotiating a contract, or managing your time. Our job is to help you learn how to do that. I can't help you if you're not going to identify the goal, the objective, what you're trying to accomplish, your shortcomings, your strengths and your weaknesses, what you need to learn. And if you don't have the motivation or the desire to do more than one or two deals a year, what's the point? Or as you've heard me say time and time again, if your goal is to do three deals a year, do them in January. Take the rest of the year off. Well, we want you to have a huge, successful, productive second half of this year. Our goal is to help you do what it takes to make that happen. But you are the one that has to take the action. Now, I understand quite a few of you, in fact, there's now over 4,000 people registered to attend our Superstar Retreat in Las Vegas, August 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you're one of the ones that are going to attend, Come up and say hello, let's shake hands. If you want to take a photo, let's do it. But let's make sure you're there with the intention of learning what it takes to make the second half of the year better than you ever, ever planned possible. The room holds, I think, 4,350 people. We're going to sell more than that in tickets. There's always going to be several people that don't show up. If you're going to be there, come dressed, prepared to succeed. Come with a stack of business cards, a lot of energy and enthusiasm, a smile on your face because you're going to be around a lot of great people like yourself that are learning to do their job better. If you want to go to the retreat, call the office, 702-982-6260, reserve a seat, and I'll see you there. And if I don't see you there, think about today's conversation. In fact, I would watch Mike Ferry TV Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to drill this concept into your head so you can succeed at a higher level. We're here for you as long as you're here for you. See you next week.